Hey guys, what's up? I'm just leaving project uh, product managing class and I ran into my friend Justin and um, I wanted him to uh, start telling you guys his story. I'm gonna hand him the phone. Just talk into it like that. Okay, and then just stare. Yeah, at, just at the say uh, what your name is and just say your story, man. How you ended up, you know, just like we told me. Well, um, I'm Justin Duffy. Um, I had an upper middle class life. Um, Went to private school, graduated college for English and literature, but I mean, I was adopted, but that doesn't mean anything. I didn't have a bad childhood. I did get grounded and stuff, but that's to be expected. I was never sexually abused, hit, any of that. Okay. That's better, yeah, thanks. I wasn't, you know, none of that. I was never hit. Um, I, uh, my, my biological parents, uh, both of them were drug addicts. I only met my biological mom, but both my biological mom, adopted mom, and adopted dad have passed on, and my biological dad, for all I know, is still alive, but uh, I've never met him, and my mom, my biological mom, doesn't even know who the dude was, so. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, so I've been on the street since I was 18, I'm 28, I used to do a lot of heroin, I don't know if you can tell with the camera, but yeah. anyways, I got on the methadone treatment program instead of because I kept going to jail for stealing from stores to pay for my habit shit like that but um, I still do drink and I still smoke weed and cigarettes and um, I'd like and I'm, I'm trying to come off of methadone as well it's very hard it's actually harder than heroin in my opinion it takes longer um, although the come down is more mild it's but it's like months instead of a week of hell it's drawn out sort of like a month and a half of a slow burn rather than a quick incineration of your habit but anyways it's not meant to come off of it's meant to be like a anyways I'm doing a slow detox with that program and uh, basically may sound pussy but a milligram um, a week is the most I can handle and you're at what you're at 90 Low, yeah, in the low 90s. I, I don't try to keep it in my head because then I'll start obsessing about it and right. then my mind will make me start feeling symptoms that aren't there. Yeah. So I don't want to know really what milligram I'm at. That way, you know, I just, and so far, I mean, it's been all right. Why do you want to go up the streets? <laughs> yeah, because it Cause, sucks. Well, <laughs> no, obviously. <laughs> But when I met you, um, you were ambivalent. You weren't sure. So how do I know that you're sure now? What what happened to you? Oh, that uh, made you I'll sure? tell you one of the things that happened to me that made me want to is um, that notebook you gave me. I've oh. written I've written more in the last few weeks than I've written in the last six years. Wow, can you see it? Yeah. Oh, so um, when I met Justin, I gave him a shower. Uh, well, I didn't give him to him. I let him use my shower. And I found out he was a writer, and you know I'm a writer, so uh, I wanted him to write. So I bought him a journal, and uh, gets a he's been using back, it. But I, some of it got torn back. Yeah. But all the stories I've managed to man keep safe. I've finished two so far, and I've started two new ones. Usually, I don't like to start a new one until I finish it. But um, I, uh, yeah, once I started, I was just like, damn, and I keep getting all these new ideas too, like. And it's almost like I can't get him down fast enough anymore. So, so um, I mean, I got like I I got like a lot done. So let me ask you something. Writing did what for you? What what shifted when you started writing in the journal that you now um, are motivated to to get off the streets? Well, it wasn't just the writing. No, don't. It, I mean, I right. love writing. Right. But it, I mean, it it was just. Finally, I had something that was purpose rather than right. just survival. Right. And it, it it's fun because, like, I love to read, too, but, like, at the same time, it's like, when I write, a lot of people ask writers where do they get their ideas, and I always thought, just like a lot of writers do, that was a silly question, because I don't know. They just come, yeah. and when they come, and I start writing it, I may. I remember when I started this cert, the first story. I had a kind of an outline. I kind of figured how it was going to end, but instead, it took a totally different turn. Mm. 
Like, and, and it's fun because when you're writing, it's like you're reading a brand new story. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And I love reading. I went to school for English and literature, and I love writing, so... We need to write you a brand new story. Yeah, that'd be nice, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to head out, and okay. um, I'm going to post this, and then we'll just take it from there, man. It was good seeing you. Yeah, you too, man. So, um, I don't know if that's buy-in, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm happy that he looks... I mean, he looks much better. He's not shaking anymore. And as you can see, you know, he uh, he's just a... He's just a kid that that uh, um, got dealt some shitty cards and was on the streets for 10 years. Uh, it's really interesting that uh, when someone finds, even someone that's that's you know homeless and and uh, an alcoholic and, and jar addict, uh, when you find a sense of purpose, you know, uh, when you find something that you're passionate about, uh, it injects hope, and hope changes everything. And uh, my hope is that his hope grows. I'm gonna buy him another journal so he keeps writing and I'm gonna to continue to document and share his story. I have no idea where this is gonna go. Of course, my wish for him is to get off the streets, get sober and, and, and uh, create a brand new life. Um, I also know that I'm one guy. There's only so much I can do. Um, so yeah, I don't know.